flying tests for the world's biggest and most powerful bomber, the United States Army's B-19. The Sky King staggers the imagination. The rudder tip is four stories above ground. The landing wheels are eight feet across and weigh over a ton apiece. To each wingtip is a half a block's walk. The Army crew goes aboard for the vital test flight. Lieutenant Colonel Umstead, only man to fly the big ship, is next to the last aboard. Then four 18-cylinder motors start their roar of power. Inside the control cabin, the order is, up she goes. The 2,300-pound wheels fold gracefully into the fuselage. Inside the B-19, pilot Umstead is at the wheel. Everything is calm and casual. Or does that cigar indicate a little nervousness? Well, with 8,000 horsepower and a crew of 10 under your command, you might be nervous too, mister. Gun turrets are all over the B-19. In all, there are 18 emergency exits for the crew. Now, let's look inside a wing. Man-sized passageways run through the wings to the motor repair stations. The motors are air-cooled. Each generates over 2,000 horsepower. Each wing also is designed to carry six bombs. Now, the bombardier's turret. Below is Los Angeles, looking like not too difficult a target. No bombs are aboard, but loaded, the B-19 could fly 18 tons of explosives from Brazil to Dakar and back, twice without refueling. The B-19 probably will have no military use. Dreamed up in 1930, working plans required six years. Three quarters of a million man-hours of labor put the big ship together. Serving as a flight laboratory, the B-19 may lead to mass production of new superplanes the like of which Berlin and Tokyo have never dreamed. Now, gracefully down, a sleek symbol of America's ability to master the air, a symbol of America's strength when these eagles of freedom fill the sky. 